Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nadia Tasha Panula, and today I would like to present about to identify the terms used in exporting and importing tools. So we have four types. The first is export terms, and the second is import terms, and the third is export and import terms, and the last. It is the example of terms. The first is export terms. Appendix C I T E S. Appendix of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Spaces, Spaces of Wild Fauna and Flora. It contains a list of species that are subject to certain regulation and restriction to ensure their composition and sustainability trade. The second is bitter waste, a term used to classify hazardous waste in certain countries, refers to waste material that are flammable, corrosive, toxic, and reactive. Certificate of origin, it is a document that certifies country in which the goods were produced often required to determine eligibility for preferential trade agreements or to comply with import regulations. Export license, a government issued document that grants permission to export certain goods or technologies typically required for sensitive items or strategic industries. Fresh colon, the unprocessed or and manufactured form of rattan, which is a type of climbing palm known for its strong and flexible steps. The harmony system, a standardized numerical method for classifying traded product. It is used by customs authorities around the world to identify products when assessing duties and taxes and to compile statistics. Harmonized system is administered by the World Customs Organization or VCO and is renewed every five years. UN or DFAC, the United Nations rules for electronic data interchange for administration, commerce, and transport. Comprise a set of internationally agreed standards directories, and guidelines for the electronic interchange of structured data between independent computerized information systems. Export makes goods. An independent mission from the special cargo business, it is not necessary for the player to actively source cargo, send stuff to source cargo or stockpile cargo in their warehouses for export makes goods to be available again. Provision refers to a specific rule, requirement, or condition set in regulation, agreement, or document. Provisions often outline obligations, restriction, or procedures that need to be followed in relation to the import or export of goods. Section notes. Explanatory text, guidelines provided within a particular section of tariff schedule or classification system. Import terms. The first is BTKI or Buku Tarif Kepabianan, which contains the classification system of goods in force in Indonesia. Foodstuffs, any substance that are used as food or drink for humans or animal. This term encompasses a wide range of edible products, including raw and processed foods. Psychotropics, substances that affect the mind, behavior, or perception when consumed. They include drugs or medicines that have an impact on the central nervous system and can alter mood, cognition, and consciousness. Presidential decree, an official order usually issued by a head of state, such as the president of a republic or a monarch. According to certain procedures, it has the force of law. The particular term used for this concept may vary from country to country. Unfinished step refers to goods that are not yet fully processed, 
assembled or completed. These goods may require additional work or manufacturing before they can be considered final products. Professional tariff. Import duty rates based on international agreements are agreements, the amount of which is stipulated in the regulation of the Minister of Custom Clearance. The process of complying with all the legal and regulatory requirements of the importing country to allow the entry of goods. Tariff, a tax imposed on imported goods by the government of the importing country. PIB or Pemberitahuan Impor Barang is a notification document to customs and excise on imported goods based on custom complementary documents in accordance with self-assessment principle. Harmonized system. It is a list of goods classification list made systematically for the purpose of facilitating tariff, trading transaction, transport, and statistics which has been imposed from the previous classification system. In exports and importance. NSV. National Integrated Electronic System, which can be assessed through the internet network, which provides information relating to process of handling customs documents and other documents related to export import. UN or EDK, the United Nations Rules for Electronic Data Intelligence for Administration, Commerce, and Trans comprise set of international good standards, directories, and guidelines for the electronic intelligence of sector data between independent computerized information system. Free trade agreement, a formal agreement between two or more countries that outlines the terms and conditions for trade, including tariffs, quotas, and regulations. PPJK, Custom Service Management Entrepreneur, the administrative process of shipping and, and or releasing goods from leading or unleading parts related to customs and government administration. KUMHS, Ketentuan Umum Menginterpretasi Harmonic System. It is the way how to classify an item in order to determine the highest code and the tariff for import or export duties of the goods. We move to the example sentence. Appendix sites, according to the regulations outlined in appendix sites of the export policy, all electronic goods must undergo rigorous quality inspection before they can be imported into the country. Bitter waste, the shipment of bitter waste materials is strictly regulated by international guidelines. An exporter must obtain the necessary permits and adhere to the proper disposal procedures. Certificate of origin. To comply with the customs requirements of the importing country, exporters must include a valid certificate of origin along with the shipment documentation confirming the country of origin goods. Export license. Before engaging in any export activities, exporters must obtain a valid export license from the relevant government authority, which grants them permission to legally ship goods to foreign markets. Fresh Redan. The company specializes in the export of fresh redan, sourcing it from sustainable plantations and ensuring its quality and freshness through the supply chain. And the next, the harmonized system. The exporter classified goods according to the harmony system code ensuring correct documentation and smart customs clearance processes. UN or ADPEC, the exporter utilities the UN or ADPEC standard to exchange electronic trade documents with their international partners, streamlining the exporting process and enhancing communication efficiency. Export mixed goods, the exporter has a challenge in exporting mixed goods as they have to accurately classify and document the different types of products 
within the shipment to comply with customs regulation and ensure proper valuation for tariff purposes. Provision. The exporter included a provision in the sales contract specifying the responsibility for arranging and paying for transportation and insure of the goods, ensuring clarity and agreement between the buyer and seller regarding the export logistics. Section notes. The exporter carefully reviewed the section notes of the harmonic system to determine if any specific requirements or restriction apply to the goods being exported, ensuring compliance with relevant regulation and facilitating smooth customs clearing process. PTKI. The importer referred to the book tariff Kepabian or customs tariff book to determine the applicable tariff facts and import duties for the specific goods that it intended to bring into the country, ensuring a correct cost calculation and compliance with customs regulation. Food stock, the importer underwent rigorous inspection and compliance check to ensure that the imported food stock meet the safety and quality standards set by the local authorities, guaranteeing the well being of consumer and adhering to import regulation. Psychotropic, the import of psychotropic, psychotropic required stringent documentation and permits from relevant regulatory bodies to ensure the safe and controlled importation of the substance that the importer are complying with all necessary producer and regulation governing the importation of this topic. Presidential decree. The importation of certain restricted goods was governed by a present presidential decree which outlined specific regulation, requirements, and producer that uh, importer had to adhere to in order to ensure compliance with national security and public safety measures. Unfinished step. The imported goods arrive in an unfinished step prior for the processing and assembly before they could be considered as finished products, ready to distribution and sell in the local market. Provincial tariff. The company benefits from a provincial tariff when importing goods from the neighboring country, allowing them to reduce their costs and gain a competitive edge in the market. Custom clearance. The shipment was delayed due to extensive custom clearance producers at the port, causing inconvenience and additional costs for the importing company. Tariff. The interest tariff on imported electronics had a significant impact on the company's profitability as they had to adjust their pricing strategy to account for the higher costs. PIB. The importer submitted the necessary documentation, including PIB, to the customs authorities in order to initiate clearance process for the imported goods. HMS. Customs officer classified the imported goods according to the harmonized system, signing the appropriate type code and facilitating the smooth clearance of shipping. INSW or INSW is not a commonly recognized term or acronym related to export and export process. It is possible that it refers to a specific system, organization, or regulation that is not widely known as part or part of the typical export and import terminology. If you provide more context or clarify the meaning of NSW, I will be happy to assist you. Edipa. The company implemented EDIPA to streamline its export and import operation, enabling efficient exchange of trade-related documents with international partners. Third agreement. The free trade agreement between the two countries opened up new opportunities for business, allowing them to enjoy reduced trade barriers and increase market access for their export and import activities. PPJK. The company en engaged a reputable strategy to handle the complex custom procedures and documentation required for the export and import transaction, ensuring smooth and efficient clearance at the port. And the last is QKUMHS. 
The company's custom team diligently studied and applied the ketentuan umum menginterpretasi harmonic system to accurately classify the goods for both export and import, ensuring compliance with custom regulation and proper documentation. So, thank you. That's all from me. I hope you can understand the terms of export and import. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.